The Farnborough International Air Show attracted a global attendance of 80,000 visitors, including 156 civil and military delegations from hundreds of countries. The air show emphasised the leading position Great Britain has gained in aerospace less than a year before Brexit. The biennial event provides an economic barometer, indicating projected growth and the industry's confidence and commitment in pursuing new initiatives. With almost 100 civil and military aircraft on display, the focus of the airshow was on transition, showing exciting new technologies featuring new platforms, avionics, weapons and manufacturing techniques. New and efficient air transportation, from flying cars to autonomous aircraft, were all present here, some of which are featured in this video report. The show's highlight was undoubtedly the full-scale model of the Tempest, Britain's next-generation fighter. Although the Tempest is not even at the concept phase, the model shown here featured many promising technologies, some of which are already available today. Until the Tempest becomes a reality, current fighters continue to evolve as air forces seek more efficient, affordable and versatile missions for existing fleets. They plan to achieve this goal by improving avionics and ordnance capacity. Sophisticated, lightweight, guided weapons enable air forces to consider the use of dual-mission aircraft designed for training, air dominance and attack from standoff range, relying on advanced air-to-air, anti-ship and lightweight air-to-ground weapons such as the Brimstone, Spear and Spice that double, even quadruple the aircraft weapons loadout. Apart from the wider choice of weapons and avionics, the pilot aircraft interface evolves to enable a lone pilot to handle the workload currently done by a two-person crew. The introduction of large area displays such as Elbit Systems LAD that makes part of the Gripen E cockpit also displays a detailed situational picture to the pilot. A helmet display enables pilots to fly heads out for most of the mission, using augmented reality to blend data and graphics viewed within the pilot's line of sight. Elbit Systems' Targo helmet-mounted display provides such capabilities for fighter and transport pilots as well as for training. Targo can now integrate with 3D audio to enhance situational awareness. With this technique, cockpit displays are required only for mission management and tactical planning. The Bright Knight from Elbit Systems consists of an array of multispectral infrared cameras fused into a single panoramic image, providing helicopter pilots an unobstructed vision at night under brownout and other adverse visibility conditions. Transport aircraft demonstrated impressive aerial displays at the airshow. These included the L100J, the commercial version of the C130J that performed a full loop, unprecedented for this category of aircraft and the Airbus A400M that featured tight maneuvers and short landing. Serving their purpose as strategic platforms that are often facing the risk of enemy attack, such aircraft require missile protection provided by Directional Infrared Countermeasures, or DIRCOM. The Israeli music DIRCOM system celebrated 100,000 operational flight hours at Farnborough, manifesting the extensive use of this versatile laser countermeasure by civil and military operators. Transport aircraft manufacturers such as ATR are integrating wearable display into compact cockpits of existing and new planes, dramatically improving flight safety and aircraft utilization in inclement weather conditions. Skyline system allows you to get the same functionality that you get on a head up display only by a wearable display. Commercial aircraft such as the ATR 42 and Bombardier Q400 are offered as special mission aircraft. Designed as passenger planes, they deliver ample power, cooling, and space to accommodate sensors, communications gear, and mission workstations. Special missions include maritime surveillance radar surveillance, signals intelligence and electronic warfare, as well as aerial gunships, just some of the missions pursued by these platforms. Unmanned platforms are also employed in these roles, particularly large medium-altitude long-endurance systems. 
With adequate payload capacity and power, drones such as Elbit System's new Hermes 900 Starliner assume multiple missions on a single platform carrying imaging, radar, passive and active electronic surveillance payloads on board. Currently, drones' operations are restricted to remote, uninhabited areas. Starliner is breaking new ground as the first drone to be certified for operation in civilian airspace. Meeting such airworthiness under NATO's Stanag 4671, Starliner uses Sense and Avoid Avionics to enhance situational awareness, adverse weather operability features de-icing, lightning protection and automatic takeoff and landing. The expected certification will open the European sky for Starliner, slated for delivery to Switzerland next year. Flying cars could be flying over Europe sooner, and two versions of this new vehicle category were on display. The PAL V Liberty, a hybrid of a two-seater motor vehicle and an autogyro flying machine, is currently undergoing certification by the Dutch designer. The first vehicles are expected to be delivered to customers next year. Powered by two Rotax engines running on standard unleaded automotive fuel, these engines power the vehicle on the ground and the propeller in flight. Once the rotor and tail deploy, the vehicle takes off with a short 180-meter run. It can fly a 4.3-hour mission out to 400 to 500 kilometers cruising at a speed of 140 kilometers an hour and land on a 30-meter long flat strip. Volante, a vision of a flying car by Aston Martin still in the concept phase, is a luxury flying car designed for vertical takeoff and landing using three rotatable dual rotors providing the vehicle with lift and forward flight. The fuselage blends spacious seating to accommodate the driver and two passengers. A large canard accommodates two directional thruster props that balance the vehicle against the lift generated by the rear ducted fan that provides the main lift thrust for takeoff and landing. More futuristic concepts are being studied by several research centers in Europe under the Clean Sky program seeking innovative, efficient and clean means of propulsion for aircraft. Other innovations address satellite launchers from airborne platforms to be operated from 2021 by Virgin Orbit at the new Spaceport UK in Cornwall. Virgin's Cosmic Girl, a Boeing 747, will use Launcher 1 rocket to deliver satellites to space. Further to the future, the synergetic air-breathing rocket engine under development by Reaction Engines promises to accelerate hypersonic reusable launch platforms, affordably placing future satellites in low Earth orbits. For more defense technology highlights, check defenseupdate.com.